Also, in the TED Talk, you talked about parabiosis, right? Mm -hmm. Mixing the blood. And so that's kind of moved forward now. And now people are doing uh, like plasma exchange. Are, are you kind of following that? And do you have, so why do you think that's effective? Mm. Um, I mean, it seems to be effective, although I must admit it, there's still ongoing research, so it's not 100% clear, but it seems to be effective. So do you have any ideas? So what's your thought as to why that would be effective? Mm. Yeah, so I think, you know, the parabiosis studies are really, they really capture imagination and they're really, you know, interesting to think about, you know, you talk to your friends, everyone loves to talk about them, those experiments. And I think it's, it's justified because they, they really, it's a powerful model and has resulted a lot of really important and interesting sort of scientific discoveries. Um, so we actually had collaborated with one of the people, leaders in this, in this area, Saul Valeda, um, to do parabiosis experiments and study hematopoietic stem cells. Mm -hmm. And so that work is, is gonna be out soon. Um, but I think generally speaking, you know, about why these, why these experiments work and sort of <laughs> what's the general mechanism. You know, I think it's actually sort of a, it's simple in concept, um, and, and surprising almost how powerful it is as a, as a model. So basically the idea, right, with parabiosis is you take a young animal, an old animal, you stitch their skin and their peritoneum together so their blood systems are joined. So yep. basically they have, uh, from our work, you know, not exactly a 50-50, but, you know, a mixing of blood that's, that's overlapping in not only the blood cells, right, but everything in the blood, like in the plasma and all these factors. And so there's been these profound discoveries in, in rejuvenation effects seen in lots of different, different tissues, right? So in the brain and muscle, a lot of different tissues, a lot of different labs and systems. And basically the idea, right, is that the, something in the young blood is making the old mice healthier, their mm -hmm. neural stem cells or their muscle stem cells or their muscle tissue, et cetera. And so actually a lot of these papers have now found specific factors, right? Specific protein factors in the blood that are responsible for a specific effect in a specific study or tissue, right? So is GDF 11, one of the key ones, perhaps in muscle tissue, and maybe in some of the um, brain rejuvenation results, and some others, you know, Saul's lab found a couple different factors that are both either in the young animal healthy for the old animal, or even factors in the old animal um, that are unhealthy for the young animal. Mm. But I think the idea of, you know, why is this so effective? Why are we seeing so many good results? I think it's sort of simple, right? things in a young animal in young blood are healthy and youthful and sort of how they're supposed to be by evolution and by nature. And that as we age, we have all these things happen that, you know, are not ideal and, you know, we get weaker and, and we get cancer and, and these healthy factors that are maybe at high levels when we're, when we're young, some of these decline with age, like other things during aging. And so simply by when you, when you mix the blood of these two, two animals, young and old, simply increasing the levels of that healthy factor in an old animal is enough to have some phenotypes to rejuvenate certain things, right? And so that's why sort of each study and each paper sort of finds a different type of factor because they're looking at a specific question, a specific tissue. Um, but I think it's a, it's a simple concept that, you know, by studying what makes us young and healthy, you know, we can just take some, some not everything's going to have an effect, but some of those things in there and young, healthy people absolutely have a beneficial effect on older and aged people and vice versa. So that's an important aspect in these parabiosis studies is to remember that not only is there young, good stuff going into the old animal, there's also old stuff, bad stuff in the old animal going to the young animal, but it's being diluted, right? right. So you can also imagine there are factors that increase with aging that are bad. And just by simply cutting those in half or 40%, taking 40% of that away and putting it in the young animal, even that can make the old animal feel healthier and have beneficial effects. So there's both of these aspects. And that's why a lot of these studies now, besides just doing the parabiosis or the blood joining system, they'll also just do plasma injections, right? So if you mm -hmm. only take young blood and inject into old animal X amount of times over X amount of time, you know, will it have the same effect as opposed to just diluting the stuff from the old animal? Um, and absolutely, you know, there's clinical trials going on for Alzheimer's and, and other indications. I think for sure they hold a lot of promise. I think, um, you know, we, for sure we need 
to do a lot more research and figure out exactly how certain things are working and what the specific factors are, right? Because you can imagine um, developing therapies with a specific factor and a specific target and known mechanism is a lot safer and lower risk of side effects and other things happening um, rather than just a bulk, you know, plasma injection and stuff like that. Although that is, you know, relatively healthy people do that all the time as well. Um, so I think it's, it's, they're very power. It's a very powerful model and there's been a lot of really good science that's come out of it. Um, but I think conceptually, you know, when you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. If, if it's, even though the procedure itself, it's a little Frankenstein esque the procedure <laughs> itself, but. Uh, yes. Yeah. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button and choose all for any new video release notifications. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon. <music>